Hey everybody, this is Trevor, and thank you for coming to my channel, Pioneer Spirit. I greatly appreciate everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed, shared, hit the bell notification. Um, all that is greatly appreciated, and thank you. So that being said, nine months ago, I made a video on my predictions on who will be the 47th President of the United States. And I want to update that. Mostly update that. Now, nine months ago, I had predicted that uh, Donald Trump would be running as president again. Um, with the hopes that Ron DeSantis would be his uh, running mate. Um, and I had said Michelle Obama will be running for the Democratic ticket as president. But I wasn't quite sure on who would be her uh, VP running mate. Um, I actually made a wild card, kind of probably not a very good prediction back then, but I actually said uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. So I figured, look, she needs some star power. She needs star power and someone like that. You know, he at the time, I thought he'd be a good person to have as a VP. Um, he could play the role quite well. Uh, I don't, that's not going to happen anymore. So definitely change that prediction. Um, I still am sticking to the fact that Michelle Obama will be running as the Democratic presidential nom um, nominee. And I predicted back then that Don, that uh, Joseph uh, Biden, he just, he's, he can't make it. There's no way that guy is going to make it. And I predicted, predicted back then that somehow... He's either going to step down or, or, you know, drop dead of a heart attack or something. And my prediction is by Labor Day weekend or perhaps even on Labor Day weekend, Joe Biden is going to come out and say, look, you know, he'll have a beautiful, eloquent speech. And he'll say, look, I'm, 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 I won't be seeking um, re-election as president. Um, I'm not going to be the hopeful 47th president of the United States. And he'll 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 have they'll have something done up and probably maybe Labor Day weekend he'll do it, um, because the Democratic Party definitely by about mid September they want to get their their people on the ticket, and my prediction is still Michelle Obama, and her VP running mate will be Gavin Newsom. Okay, so, people, oh, okay, interesting. Because in the last few weeks, Gavin Newsom, he's coming out, he's Biden, he's backing Biden, he's being very nice to him, very eloquent, and I think that Biden will give him the nod, uh, say, yeah, you know, this guy's going to help out the Democratic Party, and I still think, though, Michelle Obama's going to run for president. And so Gavin Newsom will be her running mate as vice president. Mostly, I think that. I'm pretty sure that those two are going to be on the ticket. Gavin Newsom's definitely going to be on the ticket for at least um, VP. Maybe Prez, but I'm thinking with the star power of Michelle Obama, uh, she could garnish quite a few votes. So that those two right there against Donald Trump, and it's going to be Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump, they, they'll beat him. They'll absolutely beat him. Now, if you're... Uh, Republican conservative watching this, please continue to watch because um, there, are, there, there are some nuances to this. Uh, Donald Trump could still win, but I'm just, he's going to have to pick a running mate that he, that can help him garnish enough votes to get close to Michelle Obama and Gavin Newsom or beat them. Obviously he wants to beat them. And I think that is Ron DeSantis. I have gone through a list of people I think uh, that Rand Paul would make an absolute, I think he would make a great president, but he just doesn't have that, uh, you know, that, that energy about him, okay? And would he, so I'm thinking, okay, perhaps VP, he could help Donald Trump in that role, but I don't think he's going to get, garnish enough votes to help Donald Trump beat that um, Obama Newsom team. I come down to Ron DeSantis. The governor of Florida is going to have to, him and Trump are going to have to you know, get into the back rooms, work out a deal, 
and market themselves together as the winning team. I, I really think that's going to be the, the only VP that's going to help Trump. And I think at this point, too, um, Ron DeSantis, he, he, he's young enough, and I think he would say that. He would go as VP. I know he wants to be pres, but uh, this is kind of like Donald Trump's last kick at the can. Uh, he could do one term, I think, quite well. He is older, but I think his faculties are still there. With a younger, vibrant uh, Ron DeSantis, who could who would do one term as VP, and hopefully he would want to go then two more terms as uh, the 40s, what, I guess, that'd be 48th and 49th president. Um, that's what he would want. And I, I'm, <clears throat> I think that there is some, uh, there's, there's been some works in the back room to do that. I, but yet on the other hand, those two have come out and they kind of attack each other. I don't know. Um, but don't forget Kamala Harris attacked Biden as well too. And then he chose her as VP and it's all hunky dory. So I just think that Trump, the, the best bet for him right now is going to be Ron DeSantis against an Obama Newsom team. Now this is where now I'm going to get uh, the independent vote. This is the this is going to be one of the most interesting votes since Ross Perot. And that guy you know cost the election for uh, George Bush senior because he garnished enough votes away from him so Bill Clinton could win. I think that's who it was. I'm just off the top of my head here. I know Ross Perot, he got a, a good solid number of votes. So who could be that Ross Perot of 2024? Who's going to do that? Um, who who's? I think it's going to be um, uh, RFK Jr. Robert Kennedy Jr. He's got, I think, about 15% of uh, what are they, the popular vote right now. Or he's, he's getting in the polls. He's getting up there anyways. He's not going to get the nod to be the Democratic nominee for the president. So it's going to piss him off. And he is going to go independent. Now on wh whoever um, RFK Jr. chooses as his running mate, I think he'll go with a, uh, a female, perhaps like a Tulsi Gabbard. I had actually predicted before, I thought that nine months ago, Rand Paul and Tulsi Gabbard would make a great pair. Um, Tulsi's the VP and, and, and Paul as the pres, but I just don't think people, that's just, they don't have the energy to do that, but, uh, perhaps Tulsi with an RFK junior, I don't, or someone like, uh, he's, you know, someone who's got some energy and momentum, uh, an independent, uh, a Democrat, but they're going to be like the classical liberal. And I think that's where Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis could actually, you know, it'll go in their favor if RFK Jr. and depending on who he picks uh -huh. as his uh, running mate, they're going to garnish the uh, classical liberal vote, the non woke people, I suppose, the non woke liberal uh, liberals that uh, you know, in the sense of hey, they want they want every, you know social programs, but hey, kind of. Leave me alone to run my business. Uh, you know, I'll pay my taxes and whatnot. Um, you know, those kind of, you know, left of center, classical liberal. I almost want to say like, almost like a Bill Maher, but, um, you know, because, you know, he loves making his money, but he also likes uh, the social aspects of liberalism. So I think someone like RFK Jr. and depending on who he teams up with, could garnish enough votes away from an Obama Newsom ticket to allow Trump, and it's got to be DeSantis. I just, I can't see anyone else going with him. So that could help Trump and DeSantis win. Or perhaps uh, RFK Jr. chooses, um, maybe, you know, maybe a conservative to run with him independently, and it takes enough votes away from Trump and DeSantis to make sure that Obama and Newsom win. So it's going to be a very interesting race. Uh, I, I can't actually say who's going to win. I think it's going to come down to the independent. And my, but my predictions are, my strong prediction is RFK Jr. is going to run independent. And uh, he is, it's just, you know, where those votes are going to go. You know, how many Democrats, uh, liberals have had enough 
of the woke BS. And they're just like, look, I don't want uh, Obama and Newsom because it's just more of the same old uh, neoliberalism, uh, you know, Marxism dressed up in a fancy sports coat with a pretty bow on it. That's what you're going to get from Obama and Newsom. Uh, and they certainly wouldn't vote for Trump or DeSantis. So they might just decide, hey, let's just vote uh, RFK Jr. And depending on who his running mate is, uh, because he's, he's definitely a liberal, but I think he's like a classical liberal in the sense that, hey, you know, they, they, they want the, the socialized programs for people, but, you know, let people live their life. Uh, let's, you know, kind of a constitutional living, um, not so much a limited government, but small enough. That That's the classical liberal. So very interesting, very interesting um, election coming up um, again. So I'm going to go with my strong prediction that uh, Michelle Obama for Prez and uh, Gavin Newsom as her VP running mates for the Democratic Party. And if Trump and DeSantis, it's going to be the best ticket for the Republicans. Uh, they got to work their shit out. That's going to be the Republican ticket. And where it's going to count is right in the middle with those libertarian, independent, uh, the purple people who, you know, wherever they are in the middle, that vote, it's going to turn out like a Ross Perot, whoever does that middle. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be RFK Jr. Um, it's going to it's going to split the vote, perhaps. Or, hey, who knows? Maybe, maybe once uh, in a, you know, maybe... America's ready to have a third party win. Maybe RFK Jr., depending on who his running mate wins, wouldn't be such a bad thing. Um, I'm not quite on board with, uh, I had to listen to more of his policies, but some of his, I think, uh, left leaning ideas and policies are not something I think America should look into. I think more of his environmental energy policies um, are more left-leaning than I think that America should be going and the rest of the world is, is, um, but that'll be up to the voters. That'll just be up to the voters to see who they like, whose policies. And I think RFK Jr. is very honest. Uh, um, you know, and is America wanting that now? Where are, where are Americans? You know, we keep hearing about wokeism, woke this, woke that. Are people tired of it or is it just going to keep ramping up? Um, is the starlight power of Michelle Obama and Gavin Newsom and their policies, if you like them, is that going to, you know, just garnish in 100 million votes and it doesn't matter who Donald Trump has as his running mate? It doesn't matter who's going to be the independent, if, if, if it should be JFK. Like, that won't matter. Like, it'll just the star power of Obama Newsom is going to win. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, I think there's a lot of nuance here, and, and it's really, you know, where are these independent, the purple people, you know, those people, who, you know, are they going to vote Democrat, Republican, or maybe independent? Where's it going to be? Very interesting times coming up. I mean, we are living in interesting times. You know, I'm 50 years old, and I never thought I'd be living through these times. I never thought in my life if I'd gone back you know, even you know, back to 10 years ago and someone said, you know, this is what's going to happen starting in 2020 and this is how life's going to be and this is where, gonna, where you're going to be at um, at the end of June 2023. I'd be like, I just, I probably would have passed out from hearing it. It's just very strange times, precarious times. We are definitely in a recession. <laughs> I mean, we've been in a recession. In fact, I predicted this um Three years ago, when the governments and politicians came out and said, hey, we need 15 days to flatten the curve. And I said, oh, my God, you're not going to flatten the curve. What you are going to flatten is the economy. And that's definitely what's happened. The economy has been crushed. <laughs> Rather than common sense, it was just, you know, again, like common sense did not prevail in the last three years. And if if people want more of that... Um, the neoliberalism, again, if, if that's where America's at, then yeah, an Obama Newsom uh, ticket will win. Um, to a lesser extent, uh, Trump and DeSantis, I think would be slightly more common sense, but 
again, they're, they're politicians and they don't always do everything that's best for the people. And I, that's what you get with government anyways. If that's what people want, with if they want a system of government and social contracts, again, you know, 51 people win, 49 people will lose. And that's, I don't think, um, you know, I am with someone like Socrates who didn't like democracy. I'm, I'm thinking again, if you've watched any of my videos, my solutions to all these are, look, let's, uh, you know, a constitutional republic, a voluntary government, voluntary politicians, maintaining and adhering a social contract. And, and you know, the American Bill of Rights, U.S. Constitution, these are, these are probably the best social contracts that are out there. So let's voluntarily adhere to them. But uh, that's just kind of where I'm at. That's more my libertarian, voluntarist uh, thoughts. But uh, it's, you know, and what's going to happen is, yeah, the, it'll be, um, again, Mich Obama, Michelle Obama, Gavin Newsom, Democratic ticket, and Trump and DeSantis. I really think that's going to come to fruition. And again, independent, uh, um, you know, Bobby uh, Kennedy Jr., Robert Kennedy Jr. is going to have, and I don't know who he's going to pick it as, as his running mate. I think it'll be a woman. And that could decide the uh, fate of America. Hey, maybe he wins as an independent. Maybe Americans go, screw this. We've had enough of the, uh, you know, the left wing and right wing that's both attached to the shit hawk. Let's maybe try to get something different here. Uh, you know, maybe a different kind of bird. So I don't know. But maybe that's what will happen. But uh, definitely that's where it's going to be. So I appreciate everyone who's come here, stuck to the end of this video here. Those are my predictions. Who will be... Oh, oh, sorry. I said the 47th president of the United States. Uh, Biden is going to... So I, earlier I said... I'll try to wrap this up quick. So earlier I said Biden's going to... He's going to bow out uh, this summer or definitely by Labor Day weekend, Biden will bow out. And uh, somehow, maybe, I'm not sure if this, this could happen or will happen, but Kamala Harris might become the 47th president for a few months as an intern president only. Just an intern president, nothing, nothing more, a few months for that transition. So we might actually have the next, I guess, real president would be the 48th president. If that should happen, but I don't know, that's, a, that's another wild card prediction I had. That uh, if when Biden steps down, maybe perhaps Kamala Harris, just 47th president, but just an interim. Um, because nobody wants her. I mean, I would not even predict her as even... Nobody's going to select her as president. Uh, it'll just be, um, you know, because Biden steps down and she has to be there for a few months. And I hope to God the world doesn't fall to shit when she's... Uh, if that should happen, okay? <laughs> So there's my predictions. I'm going to come out with some more because, you know, that's just the beauty of being a human is our ideas and our thoughts can change from day to day. But that's where I'm at. I hope everybody's doing well and stay free.